What to do, baby boo? So I know it's dark, but there's nothing I could do about that. Uh, babe, turn the light on. Okay, I just want to... Babe! <laughs> I just want to do this video to tell you guys how my interview went. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed, you guys. So my interview was today at 10 o'clock, but I went 15 minutes early. So I think I started my interview like at 9.50 maybe, and then it ended at 10. So it was only 10 minutes long. And they were simple questions. And let me just tell you guys this first. I've had three interviews because I worked at Forever 21, TJ Maxx, and McDonald's, right? Um, if you guys have been my list subscribers and you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know that I worked at Forever 21 for a day. I worked at McDonald's for three months and I worked at TJ Maxx for about like five months. So for Forever 21, I got the job. It was a group interview. So it was even more nerve wracking, you know, because you're with a whole group for an interview. And um, that group interview went well, and I got hired, like, I forgot, like, maybe three days after the interview. And then for McDonald's, I got hired on the spot, even if I got a question wrong. And for TJ Maxx, I got hired a couple of days after because I kept bothering them. I kept calling and asking if I got hired or not. <laughs> so I got hired from them. Like, I forgot. It took a while, though, because I kept calling them. Okay, so let's talk about this interview now. <sighs> God, it was pretty bad, you guys. I have been so good with my interviews. Even if I didn't have a job, even if I didn't have any experience at all with my old jobs with an interview, I did good. I was professional. I answered my questions good and stuff. But for some reason with this interview, it was just a whole different story. Oh, my God. It was just bad. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys the questions that she asks me, asked me and the answers I had because it was just horrible. So, the first question she asked me, what did she ask me? I think the first question she asked me was, why do you want to work here? Guess what my answer was? <laughs> my answer was, because I really need a job and my husband works at Vons. And then she was like, okay, so what does he do? I'm like, he's a meat cutter. I didn't even say he's a manager. I just said he's a meat cutter. The second question she asked me is, tell me a situation where you helped a customer out. Okay, I only had a job at TJ Maxx. And at TJ Maxx, I was a sales associate. So I always help with clothes and stuff. So my answer was, oh, well, one day there was this guy. I'm telling you guys exactly because I remember everything. I was like, well, one day there was this guy and his wife wasn't there and he was asking um, to help me find a bathing suit for her. So I helped him find it and then and then um, I accidentally gave him two different sizes and I got in trouble for it. But I helped him fix the problem. Like, what's so hard about finding the other size? I can't believe I had that answer. And I was laughing throughout the whole time because I felt so dumb like with my answers like after I heard myself answer it I felt so dumb. So I started laughing. Oh my god. It was just so bad. Okay. What else did she ask me? She asked me. Okay She was like, okay, let's talk about your favorite food Let's say a customer comes in here and asks asks you to recommend a food for them and you have to explain um, Why you like it so much? I said, okay, let's talk about ceviche. I said it exactly like this. Okay, let's talk about ceviche. Um, let me think about it. Um, I would say, I was like, okay, so pretend that you're the customer and I'm talking to you, telling you um, why I recommend it. And she's like, yeah. And I was like, um, I would just say, I think you would really like the ceviche because it has shrimp, crab, tomatoes, onions, cilantro, lemon. And if you like spicy things, you like it because of the bell peppers. That was my answer. <laughs> oh my god. And then this is another dumb one. She was like, she was like, okay, so what's a short term what's a short term goal of yours? I was like, making my son proud of me. And then she was like, okay, so what's a long term goal goal of yours? And I was like, oh I guess that's a long term goal. <laughs> What the hell is wrong with me during this interview? I swear to God. My other interview was worse so much better. Even if for TJ Maxx, I had to ask her what a simple word meant. Even at um, McDonald's, I got an, an answer wrong. Like, she, the lady straight up told me I got it wrong. Like, I don't know why it's so bad. And then she asked me, the last question she asked me is, she was like, um, so tell me about your schedule a little bit. Why are you available? Um, why are you? Why on Sundays are you only available after 5? I was like, Actually, every day I'm only available after 5 except for Wednesdays. 
And the reason for that is because my husband doesn't get out to four and I need to watch my son until he gets out and I want my husband to watch him when I start working. That was my answer, you guys. And I'm literally telling you guys every single word I said. Usually I don't even remember what the questions were in the interview or what my answers were. But I remember everything because of how dumb I felt. And I was just laughing. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, while I was telling her, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I just haven't had an interview in forever. Like, that's how I said it. And she's like, oh, no worries, no worries. She was really nice. But I, she was looking at me like I was really stupid. And I think she thought that I... I'm not ready for a job. Like, I kept talking about my son. Oh, and she also asked me. I was like, I was like, because everything, she asked me um, about my long-term girls, right? And then I was like, because everything I do is for my son. Like, I just kept talking about my son, you guys. I told her about my miscarriage. She said, oh, she also asked me, um, so how long did you work at TJ Maxx? And I said, for about five to six months. But I had to quit because I had a miscarriage. And then I had, a, and then I got pregnant again. And I didn't want to have another miscarriage. Like, oh my god, you guys, that was the worst interview in my whole entire life. And I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get the job. At the end, she shook my hand. She's like, Thank, um, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. And I was like, Nice meeting you too. And she was like, Um, we have a few more interviews today, and we're gonna be calling back people in the next, in the um, next few days. And yeah. <laughs> After, oh, I'm just thinking in my head. Like, if God wants me to have this job, he is going to let me have this job. If he doesn't think I'm ready, if he doesn't think my son's ready for me to be gone, if he doesn't think my husband's ready to be taking care of him, then I'm not going to get the job, you know? That's how I'm thinking about it because I am kind of bummed that I answered those questions so dumb and that I'm most likely not going to get the job. Um... But I'm just leaving everything in God's hands. I'm not... If I don't get the job, I'm not going to beat myself up because I didn't get it. Because, like I said, if God thinks I'm ready, then I'm ready. If God doesn't think I'm ready, then I'm not. Okay? But, yeah. And also, I want to tell those people that, like, you guys have been here so much for me after my video. And um, also to the people that I just told personally that I don't want to leave my son. You guys have been very, very, very nice. And, like, you guys have been here for me and I really appreciate it. I wanted to let you guys know about my interview because I did tell you guys that I'm going to have an interview. So, yeah. I love you guys, and I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys.